Pat Keogh joins me on the line now. Good morning, Pat. Good morning, Nick. How are you? Uh, very well. How's the Curra preparing for, for next Saturday, Sunday? Uh, very, we're very excited about it. It's, a, it's a, a very important couple of days for us. It's the uh, 100th running of the 2000 Guineas. That brings a little bit more spice to it. And, you know, as the season goes on, you the you the Guineas in Newmarket and then following then you've chest in York and like it's really building up and this is this is uh this is our weekend of the sun. So we're very really really looking forward to it. Uh, we've talked a little bit about sort of the return of uh, of crowds to racing in in Ireland and you were you were sounding some mildly optimistic notes about July when we spoke last. Is that is that still on the agenda? Yes, I think so. We'd be hopeful uh we'd be we'd be hopeful that we'd maybe be able to get owners back for the Dubai Juicy Free Irish Derby at the end of June. And that then in July that we would start to see uh, we would start to see limited crowds back. So we'd be keen to see a, a trial run somewhere first. We're very jealous as we look at you guys and see your opening up tomorrow. Um, but I suppose I mean the the uh Peter I and the Island Shore B have been really careful uh, at every stage in this thing. You know, to make sure the racing continues, and you know they've done a really good job as at the race courses, and that's the absolute priority. And no one's going to take any chances. But the vaccine, you know, is rolling out fairly well here. You know, the numbers are numbers are 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 good. So I think you know there's a, the government are very keen to move towards having outdoor events, and racing has done very well throughout this. And the government would be very pleased with how racing has done and how racing has conducted itself during that time. So. I hope that, you know, as soon as they start to open things up for sport again, their racing will be there. And I'd be hopeful that we will have uh, small crowds back on our race courses uh, in July. Now, oh, that's great news, um, Pat, if that if that should, should come to pass. In terms of the challenge it's been for you and your team to keep the place looking good and feeling good through all this time, when you, you haven't got crowds in and presumably you, you can't keep a full workforce on, how difficult has that been? It's been a great challenge. It's been challenging, all right, but uh, we've done a lot of things in the Curra, you know, uh, since it's been closed. And we just can't wait. We've made a, we've made a number of, of changes around the place with the new building. You know, when you start seeing layouts when it opened first, you, you, you say, you know, we could do a bit more of this and a bit less of that. So we're really excited. We've done a lot of work um, on it. In fact, one of the innovations will open this week. Uh, we will be opening the Pat Smullen the Pat Smullen and Jockey's Room will open will open uh, this Saturday. Uh, Francis, Pat's, Pat's wife, will open it on Saturday. We had hoped that we would have a crowd there. We won't have a crowd there. That's just once, That's well, it's a very important thing that Pat has honoured uh, in the Curra. But we've lots of other things up our sleeve. Mm. And uh, when we when we do welcome people back, I think they're going to really like, they're going to really like the new Curra. And you and I spoke the other day and you offered some, quite optimistic news about the grandstand modifications that you were hoping to have ready by Longines Irish Champions weekend to sort of sort the um, audio whistle out. Yeah, well, it did. I mean, it's a complicated process, but just to say that we have signed a contract now to have the to have the work done. You know, I, I've talked through the process of that, very complicated, but we finalised on it and we've signed a contract to complete that work now. So uh, and I'm very confident that we will have done for the Longines Champions weekend. I mean, it's been it's gone on too long, uh, but you know the the scale of it, the and the size of the roof and the height of the roof. This was never going to be an easy job. So, no. um, you know, I apologise to everyone for that, but very confident that we that we have that one sorted now, Nick. And that's great news. And just in terms of, of back to next weekend, as you say, a hundred editions of the of the two thousand guineas at the Curra. Um, where are you looking ground wise at the moment? Uh, at the moment, the ground is uh, the ground is somewhere between good and yielding, probably more yielding than good at the moment. And there's 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 rain. It's a mixed week. Now the curra dries. The curra dries fairly quickly. But I think with the with the forecast that's there, I think our ground is going to be in that uh, good to yielding. If I had to, if you push me now, I'd say that's where I think it'll be at the weekend. And that will suit that will suit a number that will suit a number of horses. Um, but I think it'll suit everyone. The ground. It's a lovely track. I walked it on. I walked it on Friday morning, uh, beginning to get a nice grass uh, covering on it. Now the heat is. Uh, temperatures have risen here. There's 
and there's plenty of growth in it now. So it's it's in great shape. I think it'll suit everyone. We're very excited about a big about a big weekend. A lot of prize money, one point six million in prize mm. money, three group ones, two group twos, two group threes, premier handicaps, the whole nine yards. Yeah, the Tatters is Guineas weekend at the corner. Bring it on. You didn't need to sell it to me, Pat, <laughs> but you've definitely sold it to me. I can't just wait to... Just you're not there, Nick. Just to pity you're not there. <laughs> I know, it is. I can't wait to get back. I'm, I'm sort of targeting Longines Irish Champions Weekend and uh, looking, forward to, looking forward to that very much. Pat, thanks so much for your time. I look forward to seeing you then. Thank you very much, guys. God bless.